Hey everyone, Nancy Bechet, the teacher broker here with some back to school tips for parents. I hope you find these helpful. First tip, please model calm and confident behavior as parents. Our children really do look up to us and they feed off of us. So however we behave, they too will behave. So as hard as it is sometimes to um, compose ourselves and to keep calm, it's very important to do so in front of our children. Another tip, set a bedtime routine. Um, it can be very difficult to transition from summer vacation to back to school. So it's very important to uh, develop a routine right away so that they can get used to going to bed at a certain time, getting all their work done, their homework. Um, and that takes me to the next tip, which is to definitely pack lunches the night before. So for this tip, um, make sure that you have even their clothes laid out. So that will help make your mornings a lot smoother less stress in the morning and they can just pick up and go, grab their lunch and go and you then can actually enjoy your morning. Next tip, uh, definitely, definitely display a wall calendar. Um, it is uh, easy for us to use our calendar on the phone, but to model organizational skills for our children, if you have something displayed that they can visually see and actually help them uh, cross things off day by day, activity by activity, they will then begin to realize the importance of staying organized so that they can keep up with everything that is due. Very, very important to do so. Uh, next tip is to designate a special homework spot that is free of any distractions and noise. Also for this homework spot, you wanna make sure that you have all their supplies there so that they're not stopping in the middle of homework to go run and look for an eraser or a highlighter or markers. So if everything is right there always, then they know everything is there and they can just get the work done without having to come up with excuses as to why they're leaving their desk or their homework to go look for something. So definitely have one designated spot so that they know this is my time to focus. Uh, my next tip is extremely important. Um, as a teacher for 22 years, I can tell you this from experience, um, ongoing communication with the teacher is very, very important. Um, just keep in mind that your teacher is on your team. They are working with you, not against you. So you wanna make sure that if anything co does come up, if you have any questions or concerns that you don't just hold them in, you wanna make sure to address them right away um, that way there are no surprises throughout the year. So I can't emphasize enough how important communication is um, throughout the year with the teacher. That will really help make your experience and your child's experience a much, much more positive one. Um, another tip that I have for you is to please make sure to definitely support and encourage your child in any way you can when they're doing their work and projects. But as tempting as it is, please do not do the work for them. I know that it requires patience to help your child and guide your child through an assignment. Um, and it can get frustrating at times and um, it's very time consuming. And sometimes as parents, you might think it's just easier to just get it done for them, but you're not really helping your child. So please make sure that you teach them that making mistakes is okay. Um, it's a part of the learning process and um, they need to do the work themselves, even if it's not up to your standard. Um, the teacher needs to see that they have done the work on their own. And then last but not least, don't forget to make time for yourself. In the midst of caring for everyone else at home, it's very easy to forget about yourself. And as a parent, you definitely need to take care of yourself, have some time for you and only you so that you can better help your child. The more relaxed in it and um, the more recharged you are, the better parent you will be. All right, so I hope you find some of these helpful and I wish you a fabulous school year. Bye everyone.